Hello everyone. I'm back in the shop today and doing another video on the Slayer Exciter. I had a young fellow ask me about uh, using a smaller secondary to do one and I told him I had made one and uh, this particular one is it right here. It doesn't do quite as good as the other one does. Uh, this one, the transistor gets a lot hotter in it and uh, makes it a problem at times. Uh, cannot run this without a fan on it at all. It does get excessively hot. Uh, it does do pretty much the same thing as the other one does. It doesn't quite get the plasma flow that the other one does, but uh, it does put out a lot of energy and uh, actually it's uh, pretty good. Uh, I, I played with this thing today setting up. This is a G Blur call right here that I bought from him and uh, I was using this as a receiving tower today and I set them up about five feet apart and I could actually draw plasma off this one five feet apart uh, from that one right there which I thought was pretty good no matter what it's uh, pretty good light light bulbs up easy uh, this one it's uh, it does do plasma flow real good and everything but I particularly wanted to do an experiment today, or not really an experiment. I wanted to show y'all something that I thought was interesting. I have a bunch of gas discharge tubes that I use over on my other side on physics experiments. And uh, these gas discharge tubes, there's helium, carbon dioxide, mercury, cryon, uh, neon, argon, and oxygen. And... Um, Normally I use an induction coil to light these things. It takes about 10,000 volts to ignite one of these things and I was curious if the flare exciter circuit could actually ignite them. And generally when I do this over there, I do them one at a time. I don't do them all at one time. So I, I didn't know if it would work or not. So I got them and come over here and hooked it up and I wanted to show everybody just really how good they work. It surprised me how good they light it, lit up and everything. Let me turn off the lights where you can see it a little better. Uh, looks very nice. It, I think it lit up five of the seven of them. Pretty much lit up five of the seven of them. And it's, uh, I thought that was uh, pretty nice. Uh, it did not light the, the oxygen is barely lit up. You can barely see it, but it lit every one of them up but the carbon dioxide. I can touch them and draw them out real good, but it burns a mess out of them if I leave my finger on it for so long. But uh, they all turned out real good. Uh, I think it's real nice looking, real pretty myself, but that's me. I fool around with them on the other side over there. I have a bunch of crooks and gas tubes I fool around with a lot. And I do experiments with this stuff quite a bit. The tube does have very good output. I can drive it to a fairly good. I can't drive it as good as I can the other one up there, but uh, still does real good. Um, I've been trying to find some other transistors that do have good output that uh, last a little longer. If anybody uh, has any ideas or suggestions, I'd appreciate it. You can contact me at w5als at yahoo.com. Uh, I would uh, love to know what your ideas are or transistors or circuit setups or anything. Uh, any input's good, positive or negative, doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's, uh, I'm really open to suggestions in this. Uh, I normally build Tesla calls, but I've been sort of interested in this stuff. And I started it and lost interest in it, but sort of what I'm doing now is giving me a little more interest in it than what I was doing. But uh, I'd really love to get one good enough to where I could get free-flowing plasma from it at a distance. I can actually, it's hard to see this, but I have some here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but I've got free full and plasma from that point off that thing about a half inch. It's really hard to see without the light being on. 
but it's actually flowing off of it right there at about a half inch from the piece of metal the neon's lighting up so lot brighter so it'll be in fact getting hot enough I can't hold it. Uh, does good. I'd love to figure out some way to make one of these things really do an arc and a half. Get a word arc off an inch or so. Any suggestions would be helpful. Uh, W5ALS at yahoo.com. My name is Alton Smith. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video.